What is going on, people? What is going on? Uh, I had to jump on today. Got a bunch of emails, a bunch of text messages, uh, messages on other platforms regarding all this bullshit with the Fourth Amendment, fucking search warrants, liberty safes, safes in general, law enforcement procedures. So most of y'all that have been around a long time know that um, active law enforcement, 26 years. Um, supervision currently, um, maybe management in the future, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but this bullshit that's going on, and we ain't going to get into the the, the, the justice system, two-tiered, and so on and so forth. We all know it's broken, so there ain't no reason to cover that. But uh, this individual, right, wrong, or indifferent, I don't know what his role was, why, fucking, what, how the warrant that was uh, written and signed by a judge didn't see none of it um, but I wanted to educate some people I mean the fourth amendment protects you against unreasonable search and seizure but there's a signed search warrant and I've written fucking thousands of them um, as a law enforcement officer you conduct a search warrant I can tell you that in my tenure there's a way we do things and a way we don't um and some of the shit that I've been seeing with, in regards to contacting manufacturers for access to tech, and now manufacturers to access to uh, safes, um, doesn't check. Doesn't check. And there's probably a bunch of cops out here watching this because I know I got a lot of my blue family that follow as well. They they can verify. Uh, when it comes to a search warrant that I've written because I want access to a phone, evidence of crime, whatever it may be, you want access to the phone. So you got the warrant and you're going to take the phone. I'm not contacting manufacturer. I don't give two fucks if it's an Apple, Android, you, your mother's cousin's fucking nephew's best friend's fucking, I, I don't give a fuck whose phone it is. I don't give a fuck who makes it. Don't believe the bullshit that you read that fucking you can't access it and only the manufacturer can access That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Any phone fucking available on the market, I'm going to seize it. I'm going to throw it in a Faraday bag. I'm going to take that shit back and I have the tech available to me with a warrant in hand that I can rip that shit. There's a fucking record. The entire contents of that phone are now going to be on a very large fucking hard drive and they're going to be saved and printed onto however many discs it takes depending on the amount of content that's on that fucking phone and I can review it, but that's evidentiary. When I do that, it all creates a record. The warrant, the seizure of the phone with the receipts, then ripping it with technology, then producing the results of that rip as evidence, then logging that evidence in, it's all paper trail. <laughs> Checks and balances. Um, unreasonable search and seizure is what we try to avoid the law enforcement and we don't want to violate people's rights we're not going to get into that so now with this fucking safe deal with uh, liberty safes law enforcement if you want to call them that still had a signed search warrant granting them access I haven't read the warrant but I'm assuming it granted them, granted them access or to compartments or areas small enough, whatever they were looking for, so they had the safe. From personal experience, I'm not contacting the manufacturer of a safe. Never have, never will. Not. Just not. And you have options available to you. You have the owner of the safe open it. From an officer safety standpoint, it's probably not going to be your best decision. Because the last thing I want to have is a dude that I'm suspected of a crime that I have a search warrant on opening a gun safe for me. But it is an option. What most of everyone says and y'all should say is, no, I'm not giving you the combination to my safe. Because even us cops, we're not giving other cops the combination to our gun safe. And God, we trust everyone else we run through NCIC. And there's not, it's not just a complex, a superiority complex for that. As a cop, I don't want the combination to that safe. Why? Well, think about it. If some shit happens in the future, say fucking whatever it may be, the fucking 
search warrant didn't yield what you thought it would, what fucking, you know, your sources told you was there, this dude didn't commit a crime, whatever, you go out about your business. Eh, two months down the road, this dude's fucking house gets burned, and his fucking safe gets cracked, and all of his shit's missing, and now all of a sudden, he's filing a report, and he said, wait, the only guy, the only other person that knew the combination of my safe was that fucking cop that I gave it to. Now you're suspect to a fucking internal affairs investigation. So it's better just to not know the combination. So when I say that, I can tell you from personal experience, I don't get combinations. Even if the dude's willing to give them up, cool. I'm fucking taking the safe. I'm ripping it out of the fucking house. Even if it's fucking bolted to the floor, it's not hard. Dragging that shit out onto the fucking flatbed of a tow truck, taking it to a warehouse, and we're fucking cutting it over. Now, when you look at law enforcement, you're like, oh, that's a lot of damage and not a lot of cost. Dude, that kind of damage in law enforcement is like fucking buying tires for a NASCAR crew. It's acceptable. Same thing with fucking search warrants. You're not going to call a locksmith to pick the lock on the fucking door when you're about to go serve a fucking search warrant or an arrest warrant. You're going to kick the motherfucker in. It's the cost of doing business. The city, county, state, federal government is fucking paying for it at some point in time. Who gives a flying fuck? So that safe, that safe is coming with me and I'm fucking cutting it open to gain access. Why? Because I'm the one that's accessing it. I'm not going to have a suspect of a crime accessing a gun safe being in close proximity to weapons and shit that can fuck hurt. It's just common sense. But to contact the manufacturer of a safe to get a fucking backdoor master code does not check. And all the other cops out here just probably put the fucking same pieces together that everyone else did because that single search warrant, however, may be valid and requesting access from that safe company, may, however, may be valid. Now, the parties that be have a master code to access Liberty Safes. Same thing with the tech. A tech company gives you up a back door to get into their technology sure you sought it and got it legally the first time but who's to say it's going to stop there it's not going to be used in nefarious ways and if it is used in nefarious ways that master code for the safe or that back door for that tech is used in nefarious ways in the future there's no paper show behind it it can be done without a warrant it can be done without fucking a seizure form it can be done without fucking people knowing that it's being done. You're not ripping the safe out of someone's house. You're fucking doing it right there in place and then fucking leaving it like fucking nobody ever touched it. That's the scary shit. So the, pur the purpose of this video is to let you guys know when you guys are looking at different uh, stuff to secure firearms and your tech, do the best that you can to keep as much tech out of your safes that you can understand that safes are not made to keep people for uh, out of your shit and away from your shit forever and a day. Forever and all time. It's not what they're made for. They're made for keeping people out of your shit long enough for somebody to show up and then they can choose to fuck around and find out. Or to keep them out of your shit long enough that they're making too much noise and they've been in that fucking place too long that it's a deterrence it's just to fucking slow them down same thing when it comes to us cops it's all it's going to do is slow us down I'm, i don't give a fuck about a code it's going to take me a grand total of about 15 minutes to 45 minutes to fucking cut into any safe available on the market it's just going to it's going to the, the model of the safe the size of the safe the construction of the safe will depend on what i need to use to get into that could be a plasma cutter, could be a bunch of, you know, there's a bunch of shit that's available. All of them are accessible. It's just a matter of fucking what you got to use to make it happen. So take that into consideration when you're fucking choosing your gun safes and shit like that. Even for the smaller stuff, for some of y'all that are secure in precious metals and watches and currency, documents and shit like that. I mean, it's just a delay. It's a deterrence. Same thing as a lock on a door. It's a deterrent for people that fucking aren't truly evil fucks, but what you have to look at when shit like this does happen is did they really need 
the fucking code for that safe? Or do they now have a master code for all the safes? And that's something as a law enforcement officer, I don't need, I don't want, I don't want to be connected with it, I don't want to be associated with it, because if anything happens in the future and I had access to that master code, I'm now suspe suspected as one of those individuals that could possibly done nefarious shit, so I distance myself from all stuff related to that. I would rather fucking cut a safe open, do what I need to do, recover what I need to recover, or find nothing. And then buy that individual a new safe. Government buys that individual a new safe. Then to have that shit and be forever questioned all time whenever some shit comes up. Because I can tell you right now, when safes fucking are cracked in the commissions of crimes, there's a list of motherfuckers. There's a list of motherfuckers nationwide that have skill sets that have been licensed locksmiths and otherwise that have been known to have the skill sets to be able to get into a fucking safes like that. I'm not going to be on that list. I'm going to be on that list of fucking 400,000 people that know how to use a fucking grinder or a plasma torch. <laughs> so, food for thought. You got to look past the surface, on, the surface on everything. If fucking big government wants access from your t to your tech from the manufacturer, it's not just your tech they're looking at. If big government wants access to your gun safe through a backdoor fucking master code, it's not just your safe they're looking at. So use your head, folks. Keep your heads on a swivel. Make sure you're securing your shit properly. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to get to them. Otherwise, y'all have a glorious, glorious Thursday. I love you guys. And I will catch you on the flip side. Mr. Oxygen, signing off.